For centuries, people have avoided venturing anywhere near these places, and for good reason. They're among the most haunted places in the world. Peculiar stories of strange happenings with dark and mystical pasts. Here are the top 15 most haunted places in the world. Number 15, Glamis Castle, Scotland. For a long time, Glamis had been the location of a hunting lodge, which itself was associated with spooky happenings, such as the murder of Scottish King Malcolm II. But by 1372, a grand castle had been built on the site, with the hope that it would bring a new sense of fortune to the area. It's in the eastern part of Scotland, surrounded by lush countryside. But despite attempts to turn the fortunes of the place around, it's remained linked with haunted occurrences to this day. According to legend, the family that lived there in the 19th century had a hideously deformed child who became known as the Monster of Glamis. And they were so ashamed of him that they kept him within the castle for his entire life and even buried his body behind a brick wall so no one knows about his existence. Efforts had been made to find out if there truly is a secret part to the castle. And while there are certainly some unusual design features, the remains of the monster have yet to be found. Still, there are stories that his ghost walks the halls and attacks unwitting guests, which along with the stories of a number of other ghosts that suffered similarly gruesome fates, makes the castle one of the most haunted places in the country. Number 14. Bangar Fort, India Built during the 17th century, Bangar Fort is located in the Aravalli Hill region of Rajasthan, India, which is around 146 miles from Delhi, and was originally intended as a place of sanctuary for Madho Singh I. Soon the building became known for strange occurrences though, and it's by far the most haunted place in India. Stories tell of a wizard who once lived there and practiced dark magic, which he used to brew a love potion that he gave to her. She rejected it though and threw it into a rock, which became dislodged and fell to crush the wizard. Today it's a popular tourist attraction with people visiting from around India to see the ancient monument, but the law states that no one is allowed to enter the grounds after dark because there have been so many instances of ghostly apparitions and people feeling compelled to behave in unusual ways that even the authorities are convinced that it's cursed, possibly as an act of revenge by the wizard. Number 13. Akershus Fortress, Norway Akershus Fortress is a foreboding structure that sits next to the fjord in Oslo, Norway, and was originally built in the late 13th century as a secure home for the royal family and a defensive stronghold for the city. Today, it's used as the residence of the country's prime minister, but has had a variety of uses over the centuries, many of which have led to the belief that the place is haunted. By the turn of the 20th century, it was being used as a prison, which kept some of Norway's most dangerous criminals and rebels. Stories abound of what conditions were like there, and how terribly the inmates treated each other, let alone the brutality they suffered at the hands of the guards. But the real atrocities started taking place during the Second World War, during that time, the castle was taken over by Nazi forces and was the site of numerous executions. The Nazi guards apparently reveled in the idea of chaining prisoners up in a medieval dungeon before sending them to the firing squad. And it's the souls of these victims that are said to haunt the castle to this day. Visitors reported hearing clanging of chains and pained groans, and even the appearance of ghostly guards standing to attention at their posts. Supposedly, if you're ever to see a large, ghoulish black dog while at the castle, it's a sign that you're about to suffer from a horrible and painful death. But despite this risk, today it functions as a cultural center and is used to host foreign dignitaries on behalf of the government. Number 12. Eastern State Penitentiary, Pennsylvania, U.S. Eastern State Penitentiary in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania was first opened in 1829 to house some of America's most dangerous and violent criminals and was designed with new ideas in mind of how incarcerated people should be treated. Most inmates were kept in solitary confinement, and some of those who spent time there included Al Capone and Willie Sutton before the facility was closed in 1971. When it was built, it became the most expensive public building to have ever been constructed in the U.S., but during its 142-year history, it saw more than its fair share of murders, suicides, torture, disease, and people losing their minds due to the containment. Prisoners were treated in unimaginably terrible ways, with punishments such as water bath where they were dunked into, then hung on a wall on winter days until ice started forming on their skin, or an iron gag where they had their hands tied behind them and an iron bar inserted into their mouths, whereby if they moved, it would tear chunks out of the tongue. 
It's no surprise then that some spirits of former prisoners still haunt the former prison, and there are dozens of reports of paranormal activity within the walls every year, making it one of America's most haunted places. Number 11. Jezerat Al Hamra, United Arab Emirates. By 1830, the town of Jezerat Al Hamra, which is on the coast in the United Arab Emirates, had a population of around 200 people, most of whom were involved in diving for pearls. Over the next century, it would become home to 2,500 people, but due to disagreements with the rulers of the region, a large contingent were forced to move and relocate in Abu Dhabi. For those that remain, life started to become very weird, with reports of hauntings and paranormal experiences, particularly around the mosque that had been built by those who had to leave. According to legend, things got so bad that everyone fled, and it now stands abandoned as a true ghost town. The only people who dare venture into its boundary are ghost hunters and brave tourists, with very few of them returning without tales of strange noises, creepy cold chills, and the sensation that someone or something was following very closely behind them their entire time there. Number 10. The Hellfire Club the Hellfire Club was a hunting lodge that was built on Montpelier Hill in Dublin, Ireland in 1725. Also thought to be the first Masonic lodge in the country, strange occurrences first started happening almost as soon as it had opened. The reason for this, according to local folklore, is that at the summit of the hill, there was an ancient cairn above a prehistoric burial ground, and not only were some of the stones disturbed, but they were actually used in the construction of the lodge itself. The group that used to meet there took part in occult rituals and supposed demonic summonings, and the energy they released is said to remain in the area to this day. Visitors often report seeing apparitions being suddenly overcome with horrendous thoughts, and those who stay there overnight have detailed eerily similar disturbing dreams. Well, there are stories of a ghoulish black cat that roams the area and brings terrible misfortune upon any who encounter it. The building was destroyed by a fire, which led to the lodge being relocated further down the hill to another venue and it too is believed to be haunted. Today, both sites are popular destinations for people looking for a paranormal experience, and most get exactly what they were looking for. Number nine, the Castle of Good Hope, South Africa. The Castle of Good Hope in Cape Town, South Africa, was built in the 17th century on the coastline by the Dutch East India Company to protect their trade routes back to Europe. Because of land reclamation works, it now sits inland and is now regarded as being the oldest remaining building in the whole of the country. With such history behind it, the fort has seen countless tragedies and atrocities, and for a brief period between 1899 and 1902, was used as a prison to hold enemies that were captured during the Second Boer War. Having been built by slaves and as a place that experienced so much violence, there are countless souls still present in the region, and visitors often report experiencing very similar paranormal events. One well-known ghost is that of Governor Pieter Geisbert van Noort, who unjustly executed seven soldiers for desertion and was cursed by one of them before their deaths. He was found dead in his office soon after, and to this day can be heard muttering curse words that echo through the halls. There are also regular sightings of a ghostly black dog that lunges at visitors, a ghostly man that appears to jump from the walls, the sound of men and women arguing, and even bells that start chiming, even though they've long been taken out of service. So prevalent are the stories of hauntings in the fort that the guards responsible for patrolling the grounds today won't walk through the arches at night and instead prefer to walk around the entire perimeter. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Old Changai Hospital, Singapore Singapore's old Changai Hospital was built in 1935 as a British Air Force hospital, but they were forced to withdraw at the outbreak of the Second World War when Japanese troops took over the island. They converted the building into a prison camp for Brits, their allies, and anyone considered to be anti-Japanese, and the condition these prisoners were kept in were atrocious. It also became the headquarters of the Kempai Tai, the Japanese secret police, who would often conduct torturous interrogations on site. And once they'd finished with their victims and killed them, impaled their severed heads on metal spikes outside the buildings as a warning to others. Following the war, the British troops regained control of the hospital, and it was taken over by Singapore authorities in 1965, after the country gained its independence. Still, after the atrocities that had taken place there, rumors swirled of a paranormal presence, and there were frequent reports of screams echoing out and the appearance of headless ghosts. The hospital closed in 1997 and was sold to a property developer who planned to turn it into a luxury hotel, but the plan was suddenly scrapped without an official reason, which
which has led many to believe it was the ghostly presence that scuppered the idea. Today, it's fallen into a state of disrepair and only the bravest people dare set foot anywhere near. Number seven, Hinton Ampner, UK. Hinton Ampner is a stately home in Hampshire in England that was first built by a wealthy family in 1970 to replace a nearby Tudor house that was plagued with stories of hauntings. One of the women who lived there at the time, Mary Ricketts, wrote of rattling noises, the ground moving beneath her feet, strange temperature changes, and words of a different language being spoken to her while she slept. Despite a new house being built, it seems as if the strangeness associated with the place has continued and all residents have befallen some form of tragedy. There were those who died prematurely, one who was murdered and in 1960 a fire badly damaged the structure and meant it had to be fully rebuilt. The last owner died in 1985 and without any heirs he donated the property to the National Trust, who run regular tours around the place for those wanting to experience a piece of the English countryside and, of course, for visitors wanting their own chance to see the ghostly happenings. Number 6. Banff Springs Hotel, Canada The Banff Springs Hotel in Fairmont, Canada is one of the most famous haunted places in North America, and there are a number of legends about this place that attract ghost hunters from around the world. In 1926, after a small fire that broke out in the hotel, it was discovered that the contractor who had built the hotel had mistakenly included a small room with no windows or doors and not even the hotel owner knew about it. Soon after its discovery, ghosts were seen walking in and out of it, which makes you wonder why it was there in the first place, and if it had ever been used for something. Room 873 is gone. If 873 is your lucky number, then unfortunately you won't be able to stay in this room at the hotel, because legend has it that a family was brutally murdered in there. And because subsequent guests experienced such vivid paranormal activity, the owners bricked up the door to look like the rest of the hallway. Other stories include the ghost of a former bellman who often walks through the hotel, strange noises that come from the bridal suite, even when it's empty, and a bartender who occasionally appears when there are large groups waiting for drinks. Number five, the Stanley Hotel, Colorado. If you've watched or read The Shining and were freaked out by the story, then you have the Stanley Hotel in Colorado to blame. Built in a location with stunning views across the Rocky Mountains, strange occurrences have been reported ever since an accident that happened in 1911. Despite opening as one of the first hotels in the world to be powered by purely electricity, the power supply had proved to be unreliable, so the decision was made to install gas lighting. The day after the work had been completed, a gas leak in room 217 was ignited when a maid entered it with a lit candle, which resulted in her being seriously injured and a large portion of the structure being damaged. The owner paid for the maid's medical care and promoted her to head maid when the hotel reopened, but following her death in the 1950s, her spirit was set to haunt the rooms near to where the accident happened. Now known as the Stephen King Suite, it's one of the most popular ghost hunter destinations in the world. And if you're lucky, you might just meet the ghost that inspired one of the most famous scary movies ever made. Number 4. Chateau du Tressesson The stunning Chateau du Tressesson in the Brittany region of France is thought to have been built at some point in the 14th century. It remained in the possession of the same family for the following 400 years before being transferred to new ownership. And it was after this happened around the time of the French Revolution that a strange story was shared by a local thief that detailed what he saw in the surrounding grounds. One night, a carriage pulled up and two men jumped out to dig a large hole. Next, they removed a woman in a wedding dress from the carriage and buried her alive in the pit with her bouquet, shouting that she had dishonored her family. The thief ran home and told his wife, who made him return to rescue the woman. But by that time, she was dead. If there was ever an event that would cause a soul to remain and haunt a place, then it's this. And sure enough, visitors to the chateau often report seeing a mysterious woman, dressed in white, walking through the courtyard close to where she's believed to have been buried. Number 3. Poveglia Island Poveglia Island, which is in the Venetian Lagoon in Italy, is widely regarded as one of the most haunted places in Europe, thanks to its long and checkered history as a quarantine station, and in later years as a mental hospital. Fears of contracting the plague in the 18th century meant that incoming ships to the region had to moor at the island to make sure no one on board was sick. But this often led to completely healthy sailors coming into contact with the infected islanders and ultimately being trapped there themselves. 
It's thought that between 100 and 160,000 people died and were buried there. During this time, it was used for quarantine, many of whom had no signs of illness on arriving in Italy. The next use of the island as a mental hospital was equally as controversial because it became known as a place where experiments were conducted to try and understand certain conditions and supposedly try to cure them. In reality, in any other setting, the treatments would have been considered to be torture and inhumane, and many patients died as a result of what was done to them. The island was abandoned in the 1960s and has since deteriorated, which means that not only does it feel creepy to walk around, but the ghost sightings, strange sounds, and overall sense of unease about the place means that only the hardiest of ghost hunters should ever set foot there. Number two, La Recoleta Cemetery. Cemeteries are spooky places at the best of times, but while many might feel haunted, there's one in Buenos Aires, Argentina that definitely is. Known as La Recoleta, it's a place in the Recoleta neighborhood of the city, and several famous people have been buried there, including a number of former Argentinian presidents, Nobel Prize winners, and writers. It was the first official burial site in the city and almost feels like a town in its own right with passageways and city blocks full of huge mausoleums. With more than 6,000 people's remains interned at the cemetery, there are quite a few stories of hauntings happening, which has led it to being known as Argentina's most haunted place. In 1902, for example, a family was distraught to find the lifeless body of their 19-year-old daughter, Rufina, with no signs of how she had died. Doctors confirmed that she was indeed dead, and it was arranged for her to be buried at La Recoleta. The night her coffin arrived, a powerful storm rolled over the city, so the ceremony was delayed. But the next morning, officials found her coffin had been moved and immediately summoned the family. Fearing some jewelry had been robbed, they opened it and found her body battered and bruised and scratched marks on the lid, proving that she wasn't in fact dead and had been buried alive. By the time they found this, she had truly died, however, and she was placed in a mausoleum that's designed to look as if she's walking out through the door. To this day, visitors walking nearby her resting place recall seeing her ghost desperately trying to escape, but she's by no means the only ghost thought to be there. There's also the soul of a former caretaker, a mysterious woman in white, and a naval officer. And if you go at nighttime, you're said to be almost certain of encountering one of them. Number one, the White House, Washington, DC. The White House is probably the most recognizable building in the world, having first opened in 1792. But despite being the center of American democracy, it doesn't escape stories of hauntings and the appearances of ghosts. The most famous of these is the specter of Abraham Lincoln, who's often remembered as one of the greatest presidents, but had his life cut short in 1865 by assassination. He was midway through his second term and hadn't come close to finishing what he had set out to do. So it makes sense his soul decided to stay around and see it finished. Several subsequent presidents, their families, and White House staffers have gone on record to say that they have an encounter with this ghost, including Lyndon Johnson, Theodore Roosevelt, and even Winston Churchill during a visit. The last sighting supposedly happened in the 1980s, but this isn't the only specter that's believed to haunt the building. There have also been reports of the apparition of his son, who died of typhoid in the White House when he was 11, and several other people who are thought to have been slaves or servants of the building. And with sightings being so frequent and reported by reliable sources, it must make it one of the most haunted places on Earth. Subscribe to Top 5s for more and check out some of our other popular videos.